All right, YouTube. I want to get into this video. Um, finally doing a long video. It's been about a week. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Y'all know I post every day, so this is a long time for me to not post in a couple days. All right. I've done some short videos, scratch off videos, this and that, and third videos. But I have to come back to fitness. Um, and the question that I get a lot is, why don't you compete? You got a great physique. Why don't you compete? Um. And when I say a great physique, and I'm not dissing myself when I say this, I'm not going to ever compare myself to people who are on the Olympia stage or bodybuilders or something like that because I'm natural, so I cannot compare to them. You know what I'm saying? And that's no disrespect to myself. That's just I'm not willing to do things that will harm my health and take years off of my life just for a plastic trophy, all right? And some bragging rights, all right? That's that's So that's neither here nor there. So why don't you just compete in something natural or something local? Um, that'll be more of my alley. And I do think if I grind my gears, I can, you know, place well or win. Um, but the reason why, and I might do that one day, and I planned on doing that. And there's videos I have where I was going to do that. But one of the reasons why I have not is because of mental health, all right? Mental health, there's other reasons, but one of the main reasons is mental health, all right? Um, the, the judging, the things like that. People that don't understand, it's, it, it goes on even just being a social media influencer. It goes on even just being like the best guy in my gym. Honestly, not too my own horn when I say this. Just like I said, I wasn't dissing myself when I said I'm not comparing myself to Olympia guys. I'm also, the other side is I'm not dissing myself when I say that, but I'm not I'm not trying to big myself up too much when I say I'm the best in my gym. I am. You know, and the reason why I say I am is because I go to a commercial gym. I don't go to a powerlifter gym. I don't go to a bodybuilder gym. I go to um it used to be Gold's gym, now it's Crunch Gym in uh, Anderson, South Carolina. It's a regular commercial gym. Where, you know, the average person that goes to the gym isn't really up to par with me. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just going to say. It. I'm gonna say it. Sounds cocky. That's just the way I say it. I'm gonna say it the way I say it. I'm gonna keep it real. All right. And it's not that I'm better than anybody. It's just the fact that, you know, I, I've been lifting for years seriously. I've been dieting seriously. I'm, I'm way past the guessing point. You see what I'm saying? Most people in commercial gyms, they they they're in the guessing point and they're um, they stay there. Because they don't really care as much about fitness as I do. You know, they might care about something else. So that's neither here nor there. They're just not into it as much as I am. All right, that's why. Um, but when you put all of your, uh, you're gonna judge yourself. Like it's a never-ending battle when it comes to this bodybuilding thing. It's a never-ending battle. As much as good you might think, oh, you got abs, oh, you got this, you got that, dude. Do you not know that we? really look at our we judge ourselves so hard and then you then you you get on stage and you got to compare against other people and people want to judge you so hard your self-worth is going to be in their hands you know what i'm saying i don't expect everybody to understand but like okay for instance when you see including myself and everybody else that you see on the internet the the most ripped and the most muscular you see their bodies that's not reality you know it's not fake don't say, don't get me wrong yes there's people who photoshop there's people that enhance their videos and things like that i don't know how to do any of that stuff uh, i'm not saying i wouldn't do it if i did know how to do it but i'm just saying it probably would I, I wouldn't think i would but at the end of the day it's that deep it's that deep you want to you want to be the best when you're trying your best to be the best most people will do anything it takes to be the best that's why you got people on all these drugs and stuff because they're doing anything it takes to be the best that's why i say i don't know i don't think i would do certain things because there's already a lot of things that i could be doing that i will not do you know what i'm saying but i think powerlifting is more of my alley because guess what though bodybuilding is susceptible all right there's a lot of politics to bodybuilding um, there's favorites, there's this and that and a third. Um, I might think my physique looks better. Somebody else might think this guy's physique looks better. And for any other reason, you know, or, or maybe the judges sometimes might not even know what they're talking about. Yes. 
So powerlifting, if I lift 500 pounds, I lifted 500 pounds. If I did it correctly, I did it correctly. You know what I'm saying? It's either it happened or it didn't. You know what I'm saying? Bodybuilding is it, it, so judgmental. You know what I'm saying? And it messes with people's mind. It does. It does. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Even like comments on the internet, it will get to you. You would think that it won't get to you, but it won't get to me. You think so? You think so? You really think so? I mean, the day you would get all cocky and stuff, you know, combative, I will say, um, like somebody might judge me in the gym, all right? I might do a deadlift, right? The heavier you deadlift, it doesn't matter how good your deadlift form is. When you get closer and closer to that max deadlift, your form is going to break down. You're not gonna have perfect A1 form on your max deadlift, all right? Let's say you can deadlift 400 pounds for eight reps. Let's say your max is probably 500, right? When you get 500 on the bar, your form is not gonna look the same as it did when you was doing 400. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remember that's a whole nother 100 pounds, right? So your form is going to break down a little bit, you know? And if it doesn't, that means that's not your max. You can live heavier than that, all right? So I'm not telling nobody how heavy to live because you will hurt yourself eventually after a while if you're doing it the wrong way too much, if you're going too heavy or, you know what I'm saying, ego lifting, if you're doing things that you're not ready to do. But I don't know, man. I, I, I'm probably going to compete one day. But I have to be in such a mental state that nothing. It's hard to be in that mental state when you're dieting so hard. When you're when you're cutting for a bodybuilding show, like the leanest y'all ever seen me, I probably was still not lean enough to go on stage. I I've been close to stage ready lean on camera. I don't. I think July of last year was my leanest I've had on on YouTube. Um, I've been leaner than that before, but I wasn't a YouTuber yet. Um, so if y'all go to my July physique update, I think that's as close to being stage ready as I've been on, on this channel. Um, yeah, but even then, I mean, when you're dieting that hard, all right, it does get hard. I tell people how easy weight loss is, and I tell people how easy getting into fitness is, and this and that and third, and I'm not lying when I say these things, but it's a difference between dieting or lose a couple pounds. Um, it's a difference between that and getting well below um, single digit body fat percentage. It's way different, all right? If, if I wanted to just, okay, let's say I weigh, I'm like 165 right now, 170. I've been eating, I don't care. I've just been eating lately. But um, I think I'm going to start cutting again after January, maybe February. I don't know. Um, I don't celebrate um, Valentine's Day or any holiday. So I don't know. My girl, she's going to want to go out to eat. If she wants to go out to eat, we're going out to eat. If we want to see a movie, we're going to see a movie. I don't do no whole big whatever about nothing. Because I do I do things on my own days. People always, we're going to talk about the holidays a little bit, then we're going to get back into it. Um just want to explain to people who don't understand um most people are not going to understand people who don't celebrate holidays you know don't celebrate holidays y'all think that is wrong or something your kids don't get nothing for christmas no they don't get nothing for christmas no that's messed up but i guarantee you my kids get more stuff than most kids they get more toys my son get a randomly here's a nintendo switch for no reason <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get more stuff on random days. Like if I want to buy my son a toy today, if I see something I want, I walk past it. Oh man, my son will love this. Pick it up for him. I got money for it. Bills paid. Is it my budget for right now? Bam. So there's nothing wrong about it. So I don't understand that. All right? You don't understand me? I don't understand you. Let's just agree to not understand each other. All right? Gosh. But uh. <laughs> But nah, man, um, bodybuilding is it's, it's a whole different thing, all right? And I never competed, so I can't even imagine it competing. You, you're literally getting on stage. See, me, I probably do men's physique, um, where I will do uh, longer shorts. Um, I don't want to be on stage, literally, basically, in draws 
It's not for everybody. You look at it and then you no, 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 no. Put yourself no. If you're judging, if you you're questioning what I'm saying, take a second. Imagine yourself up there. Are you gonna be up there? Eh, maybe you cool with. It. I'm not. I w I'm not gonna compete in body, but if I compete, I don't know. I might though. Most likely, if I compete, it's gonna be powerlifting. I'm getting my numbers up. Um, I'm back into my fives on deadlifts. Uh, I need to work my squat, get my squat back into, you know, late threes, early fours. Um, and then build from there. You know, I need to be way above 400 on on squat. Um, for me to compete the way I want to compete, my bench press needs to get back into the threes. Um. Whether it's early threes or mid threes, I don't even know where my bench press is right now. Literally, I don't. Y'all see me do the 365 bench press, this and that and third. Y'all seen that. You see what I'm saying? So I I know what I'm talking. I'm speaking from experience because people are gonna be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Stop hating, man. Come on, man. I got videos of this. So I know what I'm doing. But the, the reason why I say I don't know where my bench press is going to be is because in that video, I think I was like 190. And when I first got to that amount of weight that I could lift, I was in my twos, like 230 or something like that. 220, 230, something like that, right? Right now I'm 170 and I'm and I'm heavy for what I want to be. So I'm not gonna say I'm gonna if I compete in body in powerlift, I'm gonna compete as lean as I possibly can. No, that's that's dangerous and that's stupid. You don't wanna be single digit body fat percentage competing in powerlifting you're going to literally injure yourself you should not be going for maxes while you're super ripped all right there's a lot of things you have to learn all right so that's what i'm trying to explain so the body weight i am right now will probably be ideal for me to compete in powerlifting but i have to get my numbers up first i got to do a lot of training you don't just go and do it a lot of people say just go and do it no, you got to get ready for it, all right? You got to train for it, all right? Your, your favorite powerlifters, bodybuilders, it's just like anything else. Basketball, the NBA, they, they still practice. Those are the best guys in the world, but they still practice. You, it's a sport. You still have to practice, all right? That's what I'm doing now. I'm training myself for... I've always trained myself as if I was going to compete. I train myself like a bodybuilder, and I train myself like a power lifter, a power builder. Now, arguably, would I be better at one? If I just focus on one or the other, would I be better at one or the other? I don't know, but I don't want to be super muscular with no strength, and I don't want to be super strong with no muscle. So, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you. It's a personal goal, a personal choice of the way you want to train. You know, nobody's going to change my mind ain't no ain't no way don't even try it don't even not even no no you're not you're nah but yeah man it's my first time doing a video in about a week so hopefully i summed it up right and if i did it cool it's cool it's just my first shot at you know so i'm a little rusty um but click the link below top 10 misconceptions about weight loss by repping time fitness um that's a yeah that's way more well put together video than this is um now, I did ramble in that video for like the first five minutes, but the rest of it, you know, if you don't want to hear a lot of rambling, skip five minutes and then pull out your pen and pad, take notes, top 10 misconceptions about weight loss by Rapid Time Fitness. If you think that I have any fitness value at all from the videos y'all been seeing, if you haven't seen that video, it's going to blow your mind when you see that video and it's going to change your perceptions about weight loss, all right? A lot of things that people traditionally do don't work. A lot of people will never get fit. Not dissing, I'm just saying. A lot of people will never get fit because they're listening to their selves or they're listening to other people who haven't had success at getting fit. I'm not dissing anybody. I'm just saying if you haven't had success at getting fit, that means you need to swallow your pride. Honestly, this is what I had to do. Swallowed my pride, put everything I thought I knew aside. I sh this I'm not telling you to shut up. I shut my mouth and I open my ears, eyes, and everything, all of my senses to learn this certain thing. That's it. All right. I had to tell myself that at the time, 
Because I didn't know all the things I know. I didn't just come in the game knowing all the stuff that I know now. I had to tell myself at the time, I don't know enough. Because if I did know enough, I'll be there. You know, instead of beating yourself up and saying, I can't do this. I tried and oh my gosh, stop that. Stop that. Stop it right now. Dead, dead serious. Stop that right now. Just understand that you're not going at it the right way. You might have to start over. Starting over and doing it the right way will get you there way faster than keep hammering away whatever you're hammering away at. If it's not working, then you stop it. The, the definition of insanity. Damn. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Click the link and take notes. Peace.